Welcome back. So we are in Razor Hill. Um, it's a little bit dark in here today. I'm like, it's kind of bright outside, but it's a little overcast. But I kind of, kind of digging it. Don't feel like cranking up the room lighting today. Um, so <laughs> I'm heading back down to Sinjin Village, and I installed my first add-on. I don't really, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't really put a lot of add-ons in. I was kind of talking about that earlier. I still want to clean up my my bars a little bit at the bottom and shrink them down a little. And I'll have to add some other hot bars eventually. But um, the only one I've added so far is called Immersion. Have you ever watched my um, my Worgen Warlock Let's Play series? Somewhere in there, someone recommended I switch to I use Immersion. I like it a lot. I think it's easier for people to read when they're watching my videos. And I think it's, um, it's a little more immersive, I guess, as the name goes. So I like Immersion a lot. Uh, hold on. Panda Cub's got to join us. I did, so Slash played right now, one hour, nine minutes, we're about uh, a third of the way, about 30% through level six, and we're heading to Senjin for a bunch of quests we have down there. Uh, I don't actually know which ones we want to start with, maybe the easy ones here, it seems reasonable. Um, Today is actually uh, the 27th, so it's still the day after launch. So my last episode was this morning. I've been working on some stuff in real life for a while, and now I am uh, back to take a break, or kind of a lunchtime-ish break for some wild fun. Um, I haven't showered still. I'm going to shower, shower tonight, probably, at this point. Um, definitely before I go back to work tomorrow. So I've got a hat on because my hair is getting exceptionally old and greasy. So <laughs> it's like I need I need to cover this up. It's it's just too much now. Um, so we are recording, right? Yeah, we are. Manishka sculpt and circle of power on Echo Isles. Okay, and Zalazane defeat Zalazane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I think I want to do right now? Come on, Panda Cup, go, go, go. is kill the Macaroras. And I guess the Duratar Tiger Fur, where we get that? Islands south of here. I guess we do have to go to the islands for all this. Um, and the plan of attack, where is that at? So the west, right. Okay, I know where this is, yeah. So let's start with the, I need to get my skills. I don't know our professions. Um, I don't know what I don't know what I'm going to do for my uh, professions on a shaman. Like, I really have no idea what sounds interesting. I'm always a, fa uh, a fan or fond of um, alchemy and herbalism because it's so easy. It's, it's easy. It's always useful. Every every class can use potions, right? Um, whereas if I'm like a blacksmith or whatever, then I really have to chase down, like, a lot of the stuff's not worth anything. It's expensive. So... I don't know, for in those cases, it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, I, I don't find, like, other working and tailoring and all that to be that worthwhile for me in most cases. Um, I'm considering doing, like, mining and engineering. I haven't done engineering in a long time, and on a PvP server like this, there's some, you know, practical use for engineering supplies. Alright, so where are these attack plans? Alright, they're... I'm guessing each of these is like in a in a tent. Are they, I just wait. What? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. I don't know if someone just cleared this out or what, but apparently this is an easy one. Who knew? Um, but yeah, when we talk to a quest giver, you'll see the new immersion add-on, which I recommend. I like immersion a lot. It's it's been fun. Um. Sean. All right, so I did uh, uh, spend a little bit of time leveling up my druid. Uh, and my druid, oh, it's just right in its head. Oh, these guys flee, don't they? That's nice. Yeah. Kind of convenient. My druid is level five or so now. Um, that guy's targeting panda cub, I see. Smart man. Oh good, someone else is fighting these already. Savage, savagism. Cool. 
I'm assuming there's some plans over here for me to burn or read. There they are. Thank you, sir, and or... Let's go with sir. Savagism. Anyway, so we're two of three. I'm hoping these people keep this going. These guys have attack plans on Orgrimmar. Are you kidding me? Sure, Valley of Trials, go for it. Or Ascension Village, especially. Valley of Trials has those high-level guards right at the entrance, but... Ascension Village. There's nothing there. They could take that easy if they wanted. Orgrimmar, though, they'd get hosed. There's no way. Excuse me. Alright, where be those attack plans? Oh, there, sweet. That was easy. Me and Panda Cub. <laughs> Got this. Thank you. What is that? Orc Warlock? What is he wearing? Huh. The Shattered Company. Hey there. Hey there, man. Gorlock. Name sounds familiar. What is he wearing, though, for real? Ah, the white linen shirt. Okay, that's what it is. It looks nice. I like it. I need some clothes. I've got kind of a... I'm still... Of all the gear, right? So, like, early on, you don't have a lot of gear. Helmets and shoulders always come very late. Like, I, honestly, you might not have a helmet or shoulder until, like, late teens or early 20s. That's not surprising to me. Necklace especially is late. Rings. Trinkets. Those can all be pretty late. Um... The rest of the stuff is pretty much where I'd expect it to be. I don't have a tabard yet, and my shirt is, well, primitive. <laughs> uh, I'm so funny. So I, uh, you know. It, but everything's about what I'd expect at this point. Like, I, I feel about as geared as I would expect level 6, which is wildly undergeared. How's this guy doing? He might use, need some help. I'll help him out. I think, uh, I could heal him, I guess, too, couldn't I? That could have worked. Yeah. I'll get some some kills this way. <laughs> Does anybody know how authentic they made this? AKA if I go in hand spin or set my talent so I need to go and hit rats for a few hours? <laughs> very authentic, and yes. I would say very authentic is a fairly accurate thing. I, I would argue that there's some non-authentic aspects of this. I've heard um Voice chat is integrated into grouping, which I already, I think I knew about that from the beta. Um, I may be wrong on that, but yeah, that's okay. You know, these are some things that I think would kind of exist anyway, but... How you doing? Ah, here we go. So this is the immersion app, or uh, add-on. It's kind of, like, low resolution looking to me. Like, it's, like, large and takes up a lot of space, but I kind of like it still. Like, I still think this looks nice for... Let me know if you agree, but I think it looks nice for this purpose. Oh, it's going to automatically progress through there. I need to change the settings on that. Choose my reward. Um, that's an upgrade. Later. So I think what I want is interface options, add-ons. This is also something that wasn't... Yeah. There we go. I don't really want them to progress without me. Three more armor. That's nice. Bags are fine. We'll just go, just go to the islands now. I think that's it for quests to pick up, though. But yeah, I like that app. I think it looks add-on. I like that add-on. I think it looks nice. I think it's um, it's not complicated, but I think it has a function, and it's it's nice. It looks pretty. I didn't really notice the staff I've got. It's kind of cool looking. This primitive. Oh, I know. Duh. It's because I've got rock biter on it. Um, I didn't look up here last episode. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Just a random gorillage. It's a second gore name we've seen. I think. So this was Gorlock we ran into earlier. Gorlock, Gorlosh, Durtok, lots of Ock sounds. I, for one, maybe Supa doesn't sound right. Maybe Supa's not like an RP name, but I'm cool with it. Who's this? Dome. You can go give me a buff. I already got a buff. I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot I already had Howard Fort. My bad. So we need the skull, and we need Zalazane. This, is, I think, also is on this island. Can't wait till we get water walking someday. Can anyone help kill 20 harpies? No. <laughs> That's a lot of harpies. Oh my gosh, dude. 
No, definitely not. I like the, uh, so I have the, the higher graphic settings, which gives me this kind of nicer, I call it nicer, like more modern looking water. Um, I like it. I, I, you know, I can see a good argument for not using it, but I, I think I prefer it. All right, I need Makuras. Tigers. Minshina. And I gotta kill some trolls, including Zalazane. So, got some work to do, but we can make this happen. Uh, there's a boat. This is the one from Theramore, I think. It's the one that leaves from over here, in Dustwallow. Pretty sure. Oh, I killed, uh... We killed, I killed my first rare spawn on my druid. I, it's a Tauren druid, and we were down in, um... Why am I suddenly blanking on this? I should know this. Uh, Mulgore, down here, there's like a level 9 Knoll, I think he is. I uh, killed him with a friend. I ran into, I made a buddy out there, and we kind of leveled together for a little bit. So I played my Druid a little bit too after recording that, that this the last episode, I played my Druid for about 40 minutes. Got him up to about level 5, just barely level 5. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I don't like that these things are so high level compared to me. Also, I messed up. I need to get Rockbiter up. I need to maintain Rockbiter better. My question is, should I be dropping a totem always? Is it worth it? Like, is reducing melee damage with four significant? It seems like it might be. Oh yeah, because I was taking six, seven, eight damage. I'm taking three, four, two, three, four. It basically cuts my damage in half right now. That's huge. So okay, so that's probably worth dropping in most cases. Um, I don't know who's in a group and who's not. Charlie Frog. That seems like a non-RP name. Who's this guy? Grimthar? Let's her, please, and... Let's see if this works. Otherwise... Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. Time to toss some uh, heals out on these buddies. I got you, bro. Don't worry. Look at that. Look at that teamwork. Which one are we going for? This one? Sure. Maybe another heal? Oh, it feels good to be able to heal people. It feels productive. Are they, are they done? Are they going in? Um... Someone's going in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, invite Tintlar. Uh, I don't think I can invite, right? <clears throat> That's what I thought. Okay. Which makes sense. I shouldn't be able to. Oh, did he resist that? Okay. Alright. I've got like a... <clears throat> like earlier I was um clearing my throat and I gave myself the hiccups. <laughs> And I'm still like reeling from that a little bit. I still got a little bit of hiccup feelings going. That's oh, okay, yeah. that's that worked. This guy just respawn. Seems like a really fast respawn. Okay, upstairs. I believe. <laughs> there is no upstairs. LOL. My bad. I, I thought there was an upstairs up here. Where is Zalazane? What? Uh... Well, I need to kill voodoo trolls anyway. So... There we go. Interrupted. Solid. 
Any idea where Zalazane is? Or Minshina? I go ahead and check the, uh... I probably check, but I'm being a little lazy. Oh, resisted my Frost Shock, I tried. Ooh, Ancestral Bracers. Not an upgrade. Bummer. Maybe, like, over in this hut? Uh, hmm. Uh oh, we're pulling. It, we're moving so fast, I'm not getting enough time to, like, sit down and kind of, like, look around and see what's going on. We're all good on health? Yeah, looks good. Um, let's do this. Drop that totem down. Did I really not tag these mobs? How did I not? Oh, really? Huh. I thought I was in our group. I was not paying attention. My bad. Alright. Um. Okay. So he's, we should probably go and like look around. Like this is clearly not where he's at. Um. Sure. Help kill this guy. Either way, we're killing the trolls I need to kill. I just need to find the named mob, which I could probably solo if we came to it later. It would be nice to group up though. Uh, sure. They're respawning really fast around here. Like, quite fast. We got that one tagged? Okay. I've been removed from the group. <laughs> These people. Okay, well, do they know who I am? I'm a random person playing WoW. What are they thinking? Alright. Well, that was unceremonious. Uh, as for me, I'm gonna go try to find some more tigers and also figure out where this guy might be at. Apparently, at least we gained a lot of experience there, right? Like, we're pretty close to level seven. I'm sort of impressed with how, um, how active it is out here now. Maybe over here, this little hut, this seems appropriate. Sneaky Booty. Hmm. I invited Sneaky Booty because I thought Sneaky Booty might tag a mob for me. I'll just greed that. Oh, hey. This is probably the spot where our buddy's at. Zalazania? Sure. This is, uh, is the life we live now, folks. I'm trying to spam that, fr that, uh, Earth Shock as soon as, as soon as something comes up. I'm just like, I got both hands. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Come on. Come on. You jerks. <laughs> Spamming tab and, uh... Oh come on! Stop putting, put, stop putting. <laughs> I don't want that mom. Please stop. <laughs> oh, too slow. Next time. Wait, was I too slow? Not too slow. <laughs> Sneaky booty is the pro. That was awesome. Um, that was really cool. I need hex trolls now. I need hex trolls. <laughs> that was awesome. Sure, where's my hex troll at? There we go. I'm quite psyched that that worked out. Alright. I didn't think I got it. The tag didn't look right to me. Maybe I tapped maybe I tabbed over to the wrong mob. Oh. Resisted my earth shock. It's a bummer. Resisted again. What a scumbag. 
Please stop. All right, Berserking. Let's get him. Get him. Okay. I need to kill, what, two more Hexed Trolls? And then where is Min Shinna? That actually looks like it could be... Over here. I almost feel like it'd be around here. But... These people. <laughs> uh... I, yeah, I don't really know where Circle of Power would be. I'm looking at, I mean, like, there's nothing really here that's distinct. I, I guess it could be on the, um, there's another Hex Troll, let's get it. I guess it could be on the northern little island up there. Maybe. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it doesn't seem super descriptive to me. I'm gonna self-heal. Well, as opposed to... I don't know what else I'd be doing, but I'm gonna heal. <laughs> so I guess I'm saying. All right. There we go. Got the interrupt finally. Bring it to the ma bring it to the master gathering center village. Okay. Let's finish this guy off. Okay, we'll try again. We'll get him. We'll get him this time. Got him. <laughs> Rusty hatchet, nifty. Have some food. Let's let's eat, drink. Um. In, in a circle of power on the largest Echo Isle. Okay, so it is in the largest island. So we, we are here, but I don't know where the circle of power is here. My guess is that it's... That's another thing I need. I need a coordinate add-on. It'd be nice. People will ask you, like, where something is at, or, or you will ask where something is at. And it's honestly difficult to explain. Oh, I wanted that. Thanks. Thanks. And hi. This was my last troll. I'll give him a heal. It's like all I can offer him. Alright. So I need a circle of power. And some tigers. I see a raptor that I just tab targeted to. That's not what I need. Again, I need circle of power for the skull and the tigers. There's just not a lot of tigers. There's one, I think. Nope, raptor. <laughs> it's a lot of these raptors, but no one needs the raptors. I, I, I don't think, right? Maybe there is a quest for them. Theok, the, uh, it's Theok. Orc warrior. Don't see a lot of those. Just kidding. See a lot of those. Um, all right, here we go. Bam. Bam. Uh, let's do this. Rock biter. That's a good thing to keep up sometimes. I don't know. Maybe I should be. I need like an add on that yells at me if I have rock biter not up. <sighs> So, I think the launch went pretty well. Like, when I think about it, there were cues. Crazy cues. Um, if you followed my if you followed my Twitter, you'd see that I mentioned, um... Wowhead had, like, a, a list of... There we go. Two of four furs. Wowhead had a list of, um, cues. And I was mentioning this earlier, but it was like a quarter of a million people were in queue. Um, my guess is at least 10,000 on each server. Uh, which is about 20 servers in North America, so it's like another 200,000 people, so almost a half million people or so, maybe plus or minus, but around half a million, on NA on launch night. I would guess at least a few hundred thousand more in Europe, and maybe a hundred thousand in Oceanic regions, and then possibly, I have no idea for Asia, I have literally no clue. I have like no concept of how popular WoW is over there. Um... I don't really want this mob. I'm gonna go back over here though. Once I'm out of combat. Uh, I'm gonna go back over here. Oh, you know what I need? 
as you might see, interface options, um, combat, where is it? There should be an option here, show, show R is fading, combat state, that's what I'm looking for. I want to know if I'm in or out of combat, or when as soon as I go in combat, I want to know. So there should be a skull. I don't know if it'd be here or not. This doesn't look like the circle of power to me. Like when I think of... Um, let me just check. Uh, anyone know where Min Shina's skull is? On the island, can't find that circle. Oh, power. I, I think it... I, I kind of am thinking it's like right around here and I'm just missing it. But... This doesn't quite look right to me. Like I said, I don't do a lot of troll orc questing. It's behind Zalazan. Okay. On the hilly hill. Oh, is this 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 hill? Oh, there it is. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. I'm still in combat with these guys. I'm surprised no one like came after him. I'm gonna die for sure, unless someone wants to take these mobs away from me. Someone? No? All three of them aggroed on me. This is not good. Hey, they're slow though. As long as I don't run into anything else, I'm good. Okay. Sweet. I made it. Huh. I, I had a feeling it might be around here, but I just wasn't seeing it, but yeah, it's like right up there. It's just that little thing. Leaving combat, entering combat. Okay. I would greatly prefer to not enter combat again. There's a few skulls here. Cool. Imprisoned Dark Spear. Got it. Sweet. Alright. Uh, I still need two tiger furs. And the Macaruras? I didn't see any of those on the way over. I thought they were just in the water. Um, you can find them on any Makura or Crawler in Durator. Okay, Makura or Crawlers in Durator, any of them. That'll work. Sweet. So then in that case, let's rebuff Rockbiter, and let's keep an eye out for our fine-furred tigery friends. Looks like I'm not the only one patrolling for tigers. My impression... Surf crawler. I'll also kill those if I see them. But my impression is that there are some. I know there's some tigers in those other islands over there, like the one over there, I think, but not a lot. My impression is it might be worth just staying here until I get them. Kind of just patrol back and forth. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You also may notice I chose shaman and druid as my two classes. I've leveled a lot of characters in Vanilla Well. And, uh,. I'm a little tired of running all the time. I want classes that have travel forms. <laughs> I'm sick of it. It's, uh, I'm not, not sick of it in the sense that I won't ever play it again if I didn't have travel form, but like, I'm ready for some travel forms, some spirit wolves and cheetah form and all that good stuff. That sounds nice. So I, I, I want to, I don't want to deal with this running on foot anymore. So, uh, I think it's level 30 for druids. You get a cat form, travel form, I forget exactly. Maybe it's 20 even. And then, maybe it's at 20 you can get like improved cat speed, so like you get some boon some bonus to the cat form at level 20. But I think Sh Sh Spirit Wolf is level 30 for Shaman, which is still a long time away. Alright, we got a Mucus. Sweet. But really, I need more Tigers. There we go, Tiger. Alright, got him tagged. I was just like, oh my gosh, please let me tag this mob. I'm gonna heal up. And I should be doing. I need to heal up again, don't I? That takes mana, doesn't it? Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot mana is used for berserking, so it resets so I don't regenerate mana after I do that. I do appreciate this, like, mild, mild, mild health regen I've got going on. Like a one health. 
All right, all right. I need another tiger. Wow, there's a lot of dead tigers over there. Holy cow, okay, I'm gonna get a drink. Um, why are there so many tigers right here? Is that where they spawn or something? Tiger part? I'm gonna put this heal potion down here and my food over here. It would be nice to uh, pick up some food. Oh, I missed it. Dang it. Eh. I need more Macroras, so I'm gonna get this guy. Alright, we're good. Yeah, so, um, I'm just really excited to have classes that have a little bit of movement speed to them. Also, oh my gosh, I've really been playing for half an hour and I've not even leveled. This is getting, I'm leveling so slow right now. There's my tiger. I mean, I do have like three quests almost complete, and it's going to be four event by the end of this episode. I was thinking like, oh, maybe I'll level 10 this episode. I think I said that last episode. Now I'm like halfway through and I have not even dinged. That's rough. We've really been hanging out on the Echo Isles almost entirely. I guess we did kill the coal car first, but... That's perfect. I need, uh, need another one of these guys anyway. Is my totem gone? Where'd it go? I'm gonna heal up. Alright. Got a minute to whack him to death with a rock biter. Let's make it happen. That is crit him for 56. That's probably my biggest crit. Fifty. It's a lot. Good. All done with tigers. Awesome. So now what we need are just the Macrora. Macrora. That thank you not work. Huh. Strange. Slash T Y. You apparently can't just thank everyone with that. I could have sworn you could just type enter slash ty and it would thank everyone around you or whatever, but apparently not the case. There's more tigers over here, that's good to know. I mean, kind of too late now, but you know. I never trained my level 6 skills, by the way. Something I'll do later, I think. Okay. Well, I mean, I definitely will do later, but I'm just not quite there yet. We got a little buddy down here we're gonna nuke. So he's hitting me for eight. I'll drop a totem. Now how much damage did he do to me? Six. Six. Still seems good. Five. And Ch chase him down, whack him. There we go. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to go turn in these quests. I will work on the Solvent Spirit quest, but it's not urgent because we can kind of run all around the coastline and do this. It's not, we don't have to hang down here. We can go up here and go back to Razor Hill. What I might do is just run along the coast and kill everything along the way to Razor Hill. Is my heart zone set? It is. Good. Good. But I think those mobs are all over the place. Yeah. Any Mekrura. Is that boat again? Oh, uh, there's a cool, like, uh fishing people over there. So, I don't recall if Razor Hill teaches any professions or not. The only place I know of for professions that the nearest place is, is Orgrimmar. There might be something here. I don't quite remember. Let's turn in the quest. We should ding immediately. Zalazane. Uh, with Zalazane gone, our tribe can sleep in peace. Yes. I get an upgrade. Sweet. And a ding. I got a skull. You're welcome. And I get this weird one-off use item. I think it's a one-time use. It's kind of cool, though. Okay, new gloves for us. What else do we have here? That's it, I think. Yeah, no other upgrades. Okay, we'll another turn in over here. And it's it for quests. I remember my first tiger hunt. Yes, you do. I am pleased. Yes, you are. 700 experience. Oh, that actually got us about halfway through the level. That's nice. Oh, there is an alchemist here. Okay. So, 
I want to do mining and engineering this character, I think. And I think I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to do, I'm thinking about this. I'm going to do alchemy and herbalism, at least for now. And that might change over time, but a weapon merchant, trade supplies. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's vendor off. Everything else. Malachite. Well, I'm going to go mining. I should hold on to the Malachite, right? Seems appropriate. Um, is there anyone up here? I don't think there was. Not, no one of interest, right? Yeah. Okay. So I kind of want to go take a look at that fishing thing down there, just for fun. I mean, to be clear, if you're interested in watching someone efficiently level, this is not the let's play for you. Uh, if you're interested in watching someone just kind of explore some things that he wants to look at in a game that he loves, then you've probably found the right let's play for you. Uh, it will be obviously fairly chill. But I think most people that are watching probably have already seen my Let's Plays. I've got a bunch of them now. In fact, it's kind of, I like looking back, I'm like, man, I've got like a priest that got to 60, a war, no, a priest that got to 60, uh, a warlock I've gotten to 60, a rogue I took from 100 to 120, um, <clears throat> a, uh, another warlock I've gotten from, from 1 to 110, Fisherman. Here we go. How much money we got? Almost ten silver. Nine silver. Nine point two seven. Talk to me. Train me. Is there a purpose on training fishing? There is, but I don't think I want to fish in this character. Look at that shark. I think I want to fish on my my druid. I think that fits better. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm gonna run along the coastline and kill any crabs, mecrura, whatever along the way, till we get to Razor Hill. We're pretty much done with the quest down here, except for this one quest, which is gonna take a little while to get done, I think. Um, and I'm not in a huge rush to do it, but I want to get it eventually. I don't even care if I get experience. I just want the sticky glue. So eventually we'll do it, but it's not urgent. But I want I want to also train my level six skills. Um, I don't know what I'll learn. Maybe Flame Shock is learned at level 6? I don't know, Frost Shock? Could be wrong on that. Also, I have no idea how to spec a Shaman for leveling. I've never looked into it. I'll figure it out. Or I won't, but it's fine. This is cool. Nice, nice, uh... <clears throat> nice mob to run into there. The respawn on that was perfect. Cool. Thing does hit hard, doesn't it? Alright, let's whack him in the butt. We're gonna whack him in the butt. Got him. Didn't get anything. Bummer. Take a moment to appreciate Panda Cub. It's, it's a thing you need to do every episode. You need to appreciate Panda Cub all the time. Look at this guy's sweating. Oh. This game. This game. Um, I love the Panda Cub. Well worth it. That's the best. Like, I forget how much the Collector's Edition costs. In um, in 2004 when I bought it, I bought it with. Let me think about this. So, <clears throat> I had just gotten my first job. I was 16, and I got my first job a few months before Classic launched. And one of the first things I bought with that money, I remember, um, I had a used car I bought. Um, my parents actually split the cost of the car. You know, like I paid for half, my parents paid for half. So that was kind of the deal. So that was, I mean, still a great deal, but I had like a Chevy Classic. It was like, um, it's like the fleet model of a Chevy Malibu. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's kind of like, it was actually a used, it was either a used rental car or like a used taxi. I think it was a used rental car, if I remember right. Um, so it had a lot of miles on it for being like one year old, relatively speaking. But it was like, it had been used by a lot of people. Like that's what it was. So it was a pretty good price, all things considered. Um, so it, was, it looked like a Chevy Malibu, but it actually had like the emblem was classic on the back. Which, uh, come to think of it, that's really fitting. <laughs> it's funny. That's quite fitting. So my Chevy Classic is what I would drive around. I eventually put a subwoofer in there. Like I got, a, I had a 12-inch sub. Uh, it was the mono, but I had a 12-inch sub. It was um, this was like a year after I owned it. So closer to like 20, 2005 maybe or something. I had an Alpine Type X, like a 
12 inch Alpine Type X. It was in a, a sealed um, sub box. I, I, you could do like sealed or ported, mine was sealed. And then um, I had, I think it was a Sony Explode 1100 watt. I don't know if it's right, 1100 watt mono amp powering the thing. Love that car. So I was, it was such a, I don't know, high school car. I had that car though till I was like, like late in my 20s. Like I kept that car for over a decade. Um, anyway, so I had got my first job. Um, I was working as a, as a grocery store bagger, uh, like bagging groceries. Wait, what am I doing? I want to follow the coastline, even around this weird coast for more macros and crawlers. So I, um, I was working at a grocery store, I bagged groceries and I pushed carts and I worked about 20 hours a week during high school and I was making I think about $150 a week, um, something like that, which was like a ton of money to me at the time. That felt like so much money. And I took one of those paychecks and spent like $75 or something on Vanilla's collector's edition when it came out. I remember going to Best Buy, it was just like on the shelf, I just walked in, grabbed it, checked out, that was it. <laughs> it was like, it wasn't a thing, it was just like I just wanted to do it. Maca who is this? What is this? Mecha Scar? Mecha Scar? I've never seen this thing. Can I kill him? I mean, like, not as in, like, is he aggressive, but, like, am I capable of killing him or am I gonna get wrecked? <clears throat> I see a skeleton here, which is kind of terrifying. I'm fighting this guy. Mecha Scar. Okay, I've got a heal potion. I'm gonna totem up first. <clears throat> How long did totems last? I forget. Two minutes, sweet. Okay, is he gonna melee or is he gonna spell cast? He looks like a spell caster. Only one way to find out. He's gonna resist everything. Or not. He does hit hard though. He does hit hard. I don't think I can kill him. Maybe. What if I just melee and then heal when I get mana? Melee is too- I don't do enough damage. I hit him for like two damage. That's not gonna work. Question is, will he chase me down and kill me in time or can I get away from him? Oh, that's bad. That heal saved me. Saved me something fierce. I'm dead now. One more hit. Yeah. First death, folks. I don't know what that guy is. That's kind of cool. I've never seen him before. How am I still seeing new things in this game? I've played it for like 15 years. Doesn't make any sense. Anyway. So I bought the collector's edition. It's paying dividends, folks. To be honest, I didn't sell my account. I never sold my account. I kept my account. Um, that's why I have the collector's edition pet here. I did sell the actual physical collector's edition though. This was in like 2012. I was like, I hadn't played WoW for five years or something. I was like, I'm not gonna play it again. I, I, I looked into it a bit. I was like, I have no idea what's going on here. And I was like, I'm just gonna sell the sell the, the physical stuff. Like I don't want it anymore. Um, it might've been $100 for the collector's edition even. I don't know how much it cost back in the day. But I ended up selling all the physical copy of the collector's edition. It was open, you know. Um, but I sold the whole thing to someone on eBay. Like I didn't, I made it clear I was not selling the account. Like I don't, ha I didn't even have access to the account anymore. I said like I have no idea how to access it. I don't know what characters are still there. If it got hacked, it, it, my impression at the time was that it was hacked, based on previously trying to recover the account. I thought it was hacked, which was apparently not correct. Oh, I should have used the faintly glowing skull. That was a mistake. Um. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, I don't have the physical copy of that stuff anymore. There's some photos of it though. Um, I saved the photos from when I listed it on eBay, of all things. Just like I was like, oh, I'd like to keep like keep a memento that I once owned this. It, it was a really cool collector's edition. I, I really enjoyed it when I first had it. But to be honest, after I had it and like looked through it a lot, there's eventually a point where I didn't really do anything with it. Like I'm not a collector of stuff. It's not my. It's not who I am. I guess I just don't like collecting things much. So. 
it kind of hit a point where I just wasn't, I just had it boxed. Like, I'd rather, I'd rather go to someone else I can enjoy it. That was kind of what ended up happening. I was like, at this point, why am I even, like, why keep something that I just have, like, on my, in my closet? It seemed like a waste. So I sold it and sell it for a lot. I sold it actually probably for, like, 50 bucks more than what I paid for it originally. So I made a little bit of money, not including all the, uh, not including inflation or whatever, or opportunity cost. But, um. I was perfectly satisfied with that. It's like someone else is gonna enjoy it. I kind of got my money back, and um, I don't have any clutter around my house anymore. And I still have my account. That's like the best part. I still have the panda cup. So that's like the thing I most want. I mean, I remember distinctly wanting the panda cup more than anything else. The panda cup is what I wanted. I didn't care about nearly as much about like the CD, like the soundtrack. That's cool. Like back in 2004, <clears throat> like a physical CD for music was awesome in 2019 that music's free on youtube i mean like i think it like literally is free on blizzard's website like you, not on their website but on their youtube account i think you can get a lot of their soundtracks if not other people have it and then blizzard can copyright it at least and make a claim on it if they care which i think blizzard is pretty open about not um monetizing music but um, otherwise, all these YouTube videos be monetized by Blizzard instead. Who, who just did that? Oh, thanks. Um, so yeah, I mean, I wanted the pets more than anything. Like, that was the biggest thing to me, absolutely. So, still got them. <laughs> still got them. And I don't feel guilty about that. Like, I think at one point, like when I explained this story a long time ago, someone asked me if I was... Like, they, they accused me of, like, lying or, like, stealing from someone. Like, I sold in the collector's edition, but kept the account. Like, I, like, cheated them out of it or something. But, no, like, that was, like... You're actually not even allowed to sell things like digital accounts on eBay, as far as I understand it. And I know you're not allowed to sell them based on the Blizzard terms of service. Which is what I did, so I didn't do that. <laughs> I sold, like, literally, it was, like, memorabilia. Um, not anything digital. Um, so... I think even the time, there was like even like a 14 day free trial, like a guest pass you could give to a friend. I think even that I had used it back, like back when I got it, I think my brother, um, I think what actually happened is my brother and I were going to play and he did play, but he didn't, um, buy a collector's edition. So I just like gave him like two weeks free game time or it was like seven days game time or whatever. And then he started his trial and then he started his account. So he like saved a quarter of $15. So, um, like a little under four dollars is basically what he saved by giving him a trial for a week or two or whatever. It was all kind of goofy, but I was like, I don't know what I want to do with this trial. I might as well give it to someone. Um. So yeah. All right, uh, we're back in Razor Hill. The reason why we're here is because we have like nothing to do. We have no quests, so we need to pick some up. Bring Fizzle's Claw to Organil Soul Scar. Sure. Victory. Strength and honor. We can do that. Let's quest up here. What do you need? Vanish the vanquishers. Okay. Uh, blah blah blah. Oh, kill ten culturas. Culturis. I know this word now. Because of BFA, it's culturis sailors, marines, and Lieutenant Benedict. Sure. It's other quest. Encroachment. Kill quillbores. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kill a bunch of razor main quillbores. Sorry for skipping through stuff, I know it might be a little bit boring, but I... I've read a lot of these quests, and I do try and at least mention out loud what the, the goal of the quest is, and I try and throw it up on the, uh... Quest tracker, so you can see. You can always pause the videos, I don't mean to be rude to people that want to read through them, but... You can pause them. I do try- I, I will try and click through them at least, so people can see the quest if they want to read through them. Bring tail lasher eggs, okay, that's easy. We're gonna cook some uh, grub up. Gotta break a few eggs. We're near the end of this episode, by the way. Um, for the most part, let's see, is there anything else in here? There's a lot of people around, but... Um, dude, there aren't trucks in the World of Warcraft. <laughs> someone say, like, hits like a truck? No. Four Wheels of Fury. This might be where warrior trainers are at. Um, and maybe shamans and other stuff. Warrior... Trainer, what is that? First aid trainer, I need that. General goods, shot, there we go. So I, I wanna learn first aid for sure. 
highly useful. Just, just, just do it. Don't even, don't even hesitate. Just, no matter what class you are, if you're a non-healing class, you have to have first aid. If you're healing class, you can skip it, but I don't advise it. So, teach me the ways of the spirit. So, earth binded totem and healing wave. Oh, it's rank two. Okay. Okay. And earth binded totem. Summons an earth binded totem with five health. It slows the movement speed. Oh, yeah. This is how we kite. Strength. Uh, earth binded totem. So, I'm going to get another. I'm just going to do rank two for now. I, I don't think. I think I, I know there is down ranking. Like, don't get me wrong, down ranking, super important. Not ignoring the importance of that. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Show bottom left action bar and then controls. Where's key bindings? Um, action bar, bottom action bar one, multi action bar, bottom left action bar. This should be, I should do control. Although, obviously, these farthest ones are very useful. Um, okay, and so what I want is maybe like my buff up here, and then maybe totems here, something like this, maybe. How'd that guy just train all those so fast? He's got and like an add-on, or he just click, oh, maybe to show it only available, so if you always to do that. Someone's debating the merits of what we know in Classic. We know everything. Uh, that's not true. We know 95% of things there are to know about Classic. Hmm. The Warlock Trainer is back here. If you're an orc and you're looking for a Warlock Trainer, it's hidden back here. I remember having problems finding this guy a while back. Um, okay, so what are we doing now? What are we doing? So, intact Macaruras. We're not going to work on that right now. Um, Culturus, yeah, we could do that. Break a few eggs. Where are these at? The blood talent tail. I should have sometimes. Hmm. So it's back at Echo Isles. I'm tempted to go down there. I'm tempted to do that. It's not too hard. It's a yellow quest. We could do that, and then maybe a solvent spirit, maybe. Yeah. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move down here. Um. I'm thinking about this. this is what I want to do. Yeah. Maybe we'll kill some sailors and marines. Sounds just terrible, but we're gonna kill some culturians, and I'll try and get that quest done. Then I'll keep moving south and go for the macaroras and the mucus, and keep heading south. Until I get to the islands to kill the tail lashers. We're gonna wrap up this episode in a few minutes, probably. I won't get these done anywhere remotely before this episode, but I'm gonna keep playing and start up next episode pretty much immediately. I think that sounds like fun. Um, with that said, I always like to thank my Patreon supporters. Um, it feels nice to recline. I, don't, I usually sit up, but I'm kind of like I usually try and sit upright, and I try to keep good posture and try and keep my shoulders back, you know, like my chest up and stuff, and um, try and keep my feet flat on the floor. Things like that. Have my arms like a neutral position, but I'm not always good at doing that. Um, but now it feels kind of nice to like lounge back here. Uh, anyway, so I need to thank my Patreon supporters. Uh, they've been really, really great. Especially Timothy B is my top tier supporter. Um, so thank you to all of them. Um, yeah, I think we're going to move in here. I think it's the way to go. I just need to get mining as soon as possible. Oh, the sailors aren't that high of level. I thought they were higher level than that. Level 5, that's not too bad. I can probably solo this quest. I'm gonna invite this person. They can't join our group. Uh, invite, please. For Vanquish the Betrayers. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stop right here. So that is all for today. Next time we'll start up like right here <laughs> and we'll get started. Um, but yeah, that is all for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.